This video outlines in short the second part of the evaluation of a clinical trial application, the assessment of part 2. It explains how to create and upload the draft assessment report for part 2, how to document considerations of the part 2 documentation, and how to submit the final assessment report and conclusion for the part 2. The tasks performed for the assessment part 2 are similar to the ones performed for part 1. However, each member state concerned, or MSC, performs the assessment of part 2 individually and independently from the other MSCs. The assessment of part 2 can start in parallel to the assessment of part 1, after the submission of the validation conclusion that was described in module 6. As it was explained in the first clip of this module, soft tasks can be reached either from the evaluation section, within the dossier of the application or from the tasks tab. Hard tasks can be performed only from the tasks tab. The first task of the assessment of part 2 is to document considerations that can then be used to raise a request for information towards the sponsor. When documented and shared, the considerations will be visible only to the users of the same MSC. In this example, the RMS, Austria has logged two considerations and raised an RFI to the sponsor. Users from the other MSC, Germany, cannot view considerations in the RFI that are raised by users of Austria. For more details on the considerations and RFI subsections, you may view the FAQs and the videos of Module 6 or the Quick Guide of Module 8. Back to Austria's workspace, expand the subsection of the draft assessment report by clicking on the arrow and click on the lock button. This task is not represented in the Tasks tab of the Authority workspace as it is intended to be performed internally, within the member state. Upload the documents by using the Add Document button. Once the documents are uploaded, they become visible to the other users with the appropriate roles within the same member state. As it has been shown in the first video of Module 8, you can use also templates for your report by using the Generate Template button. Below the uploaded documents, there is space that can be used by the users of the member state to start a discussion regarding the draft assessment report. You can view the comments of your colleagues. Insert your comment and click on the Share Comment button, if needed. The draft assessment report for Part 2 and the comments cannot be seen by the users of other MSC, like Germany in this example. Back to Austria's workspace, proceed to the next part of the assessment of Part 2, the conclusion. Similarly to the conclusion of Part 1, as shown in the first clip, this is a hard task and can be performed in the system only by accessing it from the Tasks tab. Click on the Tasks tab, find the task Submit Part 2 conclusion, provided that it has been assigned to you and click on it. You will be redirected to the dedicated part of the evaluation concerning the conclusion of Part 2. Click on the lock button, found on the upper right corner. Upload the final assessment report document for the part 2, to make them available to other users within your member state. The users of the member state can still use the discussion area, found below the uploaded documents. Once the assessment has been finalized within the member state, use the drop down of the final conclusion, to select the appropriate value. Click on the Submit button to finally submit the conclusion of Part 2. Once finalized the assessment for Part 2, the final reports and the conclusions will be visible also to the other MSC, like Germany in this case. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the assessment of Part 2 of a clinical trial application, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.